Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Now I'm on the assumption that you want to be able to install a Xcode application on an iPhone simulator but that iPhone simulator uh, isn't there and you don't know how to do it and so on. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. As you can see here I've just opened up Xcode version 15.4. Let's go ahead and create a new uh, project just to be able to do this. An iOS application will select app next and we'll just call this sim test sif ui language swift storage none and we'll uh, just get, get it started we're going to save this on the desktop uh, nothing to worry about there and we'll let it run now we can see right now the, the the content of this app is of no relevance really because as long as it as long as the the iphone target the target iphone should we say has the minimum level of ios installed on it then this application will install. And as we can see right now, we're going to have 17.5. Now let's just say you want to go back to uh, uh, iOS 15 and install it on an application there. You can see here I've already pre-installed uh, or downloaded an iPhone 6S for us to save time, all right? But let's just imagine that that iPhone 6S wasn't there and that was our intention to install it on on an iPhone 6S. So we would see we cannot install it on here. So let's just go to manage run destinations. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got my iPhone and also my, my iPad uh, here, but we're not really interested in them. We're more interested in the simulators. So we come to our simulators and as we can see, we have the iPhone uh, 6S here already um, because I've already downloaded and installed it. However, if it's not there, because it, it won't be there in your example, we're going to have to come here and we can see here that we can do device type iPhone 6s at the moment. However, we 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 want to be able to install previous versions of iOS and to be able to do that, we're going to have to download more simulator runtimes. This is the key thing here. OK, and as you can see here, I downloaded the iOS 15 simulators and that is what is given us this iOS 15 here uh, available. OK, because we already have uh, the other uh, iOS uh, 17 uh, pre-installed with Xcode already okay so this is an additional iOS uh, version so we come here and there you can see we've got the iOS 15 simulator and we got that by tapping this uh, plus button and then coming here previously released simulators so we tap on this and there you can search for the release that you want and you can see here we're only going to get iOS 15 right now this is the only thing that Xcode is allowing you to install um, so you're going to have to go and access one of these. Now, if you do want to have a previous uh, version of iPhone, okay, the other option is to come over to um, Apple's developer uh, website and come to the downloads. And here you'll be able to install the other previous Xcode versions. Okay, And by installing the previous Xcode versions, you'll be able to get even more simulators on that. But right now, because we're working on the newest Xcode version, it, it'll only allow you to go so far back uh, to install. The, uh, obviously, in this sense, it only allows you to go back. Look in here to iOS uh, 15.2 or 15.0 is the only thing it allows you to go back to. All right, but you can develop other uh, applications by installing then later versions of Xcode as well. So, but because we're happy with the iPhone 6s. We would come down to uh, whoops. We would come down to here, download more um, uh, simulators, and we would select then iPhone 15.0. And obviously here it, it's not there because it's already downloaded. But we would select it from here, download and install. And once it's been installed, it would come up on here. Obviously it's 12 gigabytes. It's going to take quite a bit uh, to to download. And once it is, you can then come and select um, the, the 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 type, and it will list here as per normal. And now we can come over to iPhone, uh, the iPhone 6S and select this. And obviously we know that it goes back to iPhone, um, uh, the iOS version uh, 15. So if we just come here just for uh, just for the fun of it and we try and run it on iOS 14, you'll see that we're going to start getting some errors. OK, and we can remove that error is only available on, on 15. And we can just keep going and seeing how far it will actually go. And as you can see, in the end, it, it allows it. So you're going to have to be like a little bit clever about the things that you do or you don't 
add to your code based upon the different iOS versions available. OK, so if you want to come back to, say, let's have a look, see how, how much further we can go. Let's go back to uh, 13 and see if we can do it now and see what we get. And as you can see here, we're, we're starting to really have have some problems here already. OK, so you, it's it's all based upon what what technology you try to do as well it is what you're going to be able to um, in, install. And in this sense, we can install um, uh, iOS, uh, a, an application going back to iOS 14 on an iPhone uh, 6S. So you're going to have to balance between what code you write and also what uh, iPhones uh, you are going to support uh, older iPhones. Now, in this sense, I personally, um, I'm currently building an app for my wife and I personally have talked with her to say we're only going to go back and support iPhone 10s. OK, um, and that's as far as we're going to go, because, you know, we, we the, the clientele that my wife is going to want to have is going to want to have some newer phones, you know, and it, it it's kind of a little bit stereotypical. You know, the, the people that have iPhone 10 or newer they tend to might be possibly the clientele that she wants. Now, we're not judging anyone, but we, we've got to put the time that the, I have to put more time into creating an app to support other iPhones like the iPhone 8, for example. So we might have to change the code dramatically, which is actually, actually what it is in order to support iPhone 8. So you might want to support these but how much more time do you need to add to be able to actually support them and how much value are you getting from supporting that iphone uh, and so on so you have to weigh that up yourself with that said i hope that you've got something out of this one video and i hope you now uh, understand how to be able to do this um, so it's it's really an important thing to be able to to understand is um, how can we uh, deploy and test our application on different uh, simulators, on different devices, also on different Swift versions, different iOS um, operating systems, and so on. So there you know that you've, you, you've tested it on, because they won't all run the same. Okay, I can promise you this. You might think, oh, it's okay, we'll just, just update it, but you won't. You'll come into a whole bunch of problems and bugs because different operating systems will run differently. Uh, uh, and so on so with that said um, like I said I hope you've got something out of this one video if you did don't forget to like subscribe share and uh, do any other social media thing that you can do out there if you've got any questions feedback or concerns then let's start a conversation in the comment section down below um, thank you very much for watching my name is David Thorne and I'll see you in the next video ciao ciao and goodbye